you know, the focus and to see how the challenge to seek God with all your heart, to see that you're in school and working full time and you made it happen. It's like you, nothing got in the way of you studying the Bible and getting to know your Jesus, you know? And I'm just like excited to be in your studies and to see where you're at today and how God's going to use you in a very powerful way because you have integrity. You let your yes be yes and your no, no. And uh, I know that God's going to do great things because you have seeked him with your whole heart with no excuse. And uh, I just, I'm just happy that I was in your study. So I'm, 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 I can't wait to see what God's going to do. So you're awesome. Amen. Well, for me, um, I'll read my scripture first that I have for you. Um, this just makes me think of you. It's in Romans 6 and start half of 16. It says, you are slaves to the one whom you obey, whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or to obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that though you used to be slaves to sin, you wholeheartedly obey the form of teaching to which you were entrusted. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. And um, ever since I met you, the singles thing, oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, I'm going to do this. The singles thing that we had in Vancouver a few weeks ago, um, her and her friend Brittany came. The guys actually invited them. They were out at the mall. She was on her 10-minute break. We'll talk about break, that more right. later. But uh, just to see her heart, like, uh, first time she met me, she was asking me just, like, real questions, like, well, what's the church about, or what do you believe? Like, her heart was to find, like, God, like, really God in the truth, not, like, a fun church or a comfortable place to be, like, before God and stuff. But um, that's just convicted me from the start, and I'm, like, really excited to see what you can teach me and just all the women, you know, and brothers and men. But uh, just by your example, you know, and you do have a busy life, but you studied every day. You're just like, oh, no, tomorrow's fine. And we're like, really? Okay. Like, you know, like, because we're all busy, but we made it happen. And, you know, I think God totally blessed that. Like, yeah. you're just growing so much, you know, and I'm uh, really excited to have in my life more and more and that you become part of Kingdom Church. Um, that, you know, you're my sister now, so anyways, I look forward Wait, I wanted to, before you speak, did, did Josh yeah. or yeah, yeah. did you guys yeah, want to share anything? <laughs> <laughs> I just came to listen. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about you, Joe? Um, I can share. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, I I think that if I had to share a scripture, it would be Acts 17. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm super excited. It's, it's just amazing to, to see, as I was telling okay, was like, one of the coolest things you can have or as a Christian is, is watching someone change. And, um, and just in a month, it's just been, wow, you know, like you've changed so much. And um, in Acts 17 and verse 26, it says, uh, From one man he made every nation of men, that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he determined the time set for them in the exact places where they should live. God did this so men would seek him and perhaps reach out for him, finding those not far from each one of us. Friend, we live and move and have our being. And uh, that, that's kind of what happened. We were actually uh, at the mall and we were kind of, as Ron was alluding to, we were out sharing our faith. We were like trying to get our game plan together, kind of sitting around. And, and we were getting ready to go share our faith, but all of a sudden, she came and shared her faith with us. <laughs> she walked up and was like, let's go to church or something. I don't know, y'all know exactly what you said, but, but she was totally looking for God, and, and that's strange that she was seeking God already. Come on. And then um, I think uh, Susan followed up with her, and, and um, she came out to Devo. And then Whitney got in there, and Tracy got in there. And, and uh, just a month later, it, it's amazing to see like how ready you were. It took me a uh, shoot. A year and a half, right? Come on, Yeah. But um, you're, you're very mature, and, and God's going to do maybe things in your life. Come on. Oh, I want to share. Oh, Ron wants to share. Uh, Open it up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I guess more people want to share. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, boy, let's show. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'll go last right before. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, Hi. Uh, where? Which one? Good. Oh, go ahead, because I have to look up the scriptures. It's on you. Go ahead. Oh. Well, I think it's. I think it's also 
Yeah, Acts 17, the one about when they're in Berea. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you study the scriptures every day? And, like, you, like, the, you would always send me a text in the morning with a scripture. And, like, you sent me one today about rejoicing. And I was totally down discouraged because I was like, this kid, give him an earth. <laughs> and then, but then I read it and I was like, you know what? You're right. I was like, I just had to sit down and go remember that, you know, and Jesus had a way worse and, like, that you always you know, have a smile on your face and always giving and, you know, giving people rides and, you know, just being there for everyone. And I think that's really cool. All right. All right. Everybody ready to the bag? Let's see anything. Share. Everybody's good. Okay. <laughs> Run. All right. Well, I wanted to share. Um, I, think it, I think of the scripture in Colossians 3. It says... Uh, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Verse, chapter 3, verse 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. You, you know, the very first scripture that we, that we study when we study the Bible to people is Psalm 119 that calls us to seek after God with all of our heart. And, and, the great, and we all know the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart. And, and I think as I've watched you go through and study the Bible, I've, just, I've seen a woman that's loved God with all of her heart right from the very beginning, the entire way through, without stumbling in any way, shape, or form. And uh, I just know you are going to do fantastic, amazing things for God in your life. And uh, I'm just really proud to be able to have you in our church. So I love you a lot. <laughs> Can't wait. Come on, Courtney. Yeah, <laughs> Come on, Courtney. Um, well, God's been doing like a lot of just really physical like actions in my life, and um, like I was going to a college at Eastern, and like I grew up in like a typical Christian home, you know the whole story, but. Um, after, like, I was, like, on fire, and then I went to college, and I, like, wasn't strong, and I, like, fell a lot, and, um, so God pulled me out of that through a worldly thing, um, because, like, my passion is, like, sewing and stuff, and so I just was, like, whoa, I, like, why am I here? Why am I at this school? So, like, I decided to move, and, um, I moved here, and I realized, like, it wasn't about going to, like, art school or whatever, it was, like, about God, and that's why I was, like, leaving that school, and, um, so I've been praying for a church because the church that my family went to is just like <laughs> I don't know why it was just like I didn't feel like it was like a family because I would just go in and sit like five feet from the person next to me and leave and I was just like whoa so I had been praying and praying and praying and um, I saw like a bunch of guys that I had like a ten minute break and all my ten minute break I went to Starbucks and I was sitting down and like all these guys were studying the Bible I was like Oh, and so I walked up, I was like, what are you guys studying? And then, like, they were just all so nice. I was like, whoa, like, I, I don't even know you guys. Like, they were really nice. And so I was just encouraged. And then Susan helped me get to the Devo. And um, so it was just cool because it was, like, such an answered prayer. And, like, I looked back on my prayer journal, and it was, like, exactly what I've been praying for. Like, because I just wanted, like, a biblical church. Like, not of people, but of God. And, um... So I found it, and um, Psalm 51 is pretty much has been my prayer, and has is just how my life is. But um, it says, "Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you only you I have sinned, and done what is evil in your sight." So that you are proved right when you speak, and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Conceived me. Surely you desire truth in the inner parts. You teach me wisdom in the inmost place. But it goes on, and um, you guys can read it, but it's like a really cool verse. And I just feel like I have been asking God to break me, and break me, and break me. And then when we did the light and darkness study, I just started crying. I was like... What's going on? Like, this is weird. <laughs> uh, it was really cool because God's just been like revealing sin to me and like cleansing my heart, and I'm ready for this. So. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have a few important, two important questions for you. Do you believe?
that Jesus was the Son of God, that He died for your sins, He came on the cross, and He rose on the third day. What is your good confession? Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and you will have all your sins forgiven. You'll be back, or you'll be added to the Book of Life. Yeah, yeah, come down closer to the light here if you can. Right here. Alright. Alright guys. That's good. That's good, guys. Can you want me to hold the bottom half? Oh. Oh, okay, that looks good. Take yeah, do it right now. <laughs> Say bye. Bye, Courtney. Bye, Courtney. Bye, Courtney. Heaven that we live in. Hey, you can see a baptism happening underwater. Go, go, go. Do it. You can see a miracle underwater. Wait till it happens. Wait till it happens. Yeah. Oh, it's done. Alright. Woo! Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah